inventor Ernest Andrews innovation largely aims to save money villagers spend in buying torches and batteries to light their homes. After realizing that we were facing a lot of problems without using electricity, I thought of trying to make electricity. Now here we are. At the 18-year-old secondary school dropout. Welcome guys, welcome again to another episode of the WSXM podcast where a United Africa is an undisputed Africa. So, guys, Ernest Andrew, an 18-year-old dropout Malawian youth, cre- in- invented an air-powered transformer to transform air into electricity. But before I get into the video, uh, before I get into it, watch the video so I can have an idea of what I'm talking about. And then we can discuss it. Boom. After realizing that we were facing a lot of problems without using electricity, I thought of trying to make electricity. Now here we are. The 18-year-old secondary school dropout says his generator produces 1,000 volts of electricity. He has now connected nine houses from a self-made transformer. This system generates electricity using air. To make a light bulb illuminate, I use power stored in bottles. I experiment with magnetic power to determine how much electricity I can produce. After that, I generate power based on the number of houses I want to supply. What type of air is he using? We don't know. What air is doing to produce the power? We don't know. And he's not saying. How is he taking the air into his system to produce it? Uh, electricity, we don't know, and he's not explaining. So how can we appreciate? How can we assist as engineers? Inventor Ernest Andrews Innovation largely aims to save money villagers spend. I was among those who were doubting his ability to generate electricity, which we can use in our homes. But when I saw that he had managed to connect his parents' house, that's when I asked him to connect my house too. Now life is simple. The villagers use the free electricity to charge phones and plug in electric shaving machines. Andrew's mother, Tin, because of lack of school fees. I am appealing to well-wishers to assist this boy to continue with his education, like sending him back to school to improve his innovative ideas, because the knowledge he is using now is inborn. Such innovations can make us achieve access to electricity, but not only access, affordability, sustainability. One thing that we're going to do as a district uh, to make sure that uh, whatever he's doing when he's working on uh, the appliances is safe. So guys, there you have it. You can imagine that a young dropout Malawian kid who does not have traditional schooling, as in, you know, learning physics and all that, but he still managed to create something that actually worked, invent a system that Traps air, transform it into, into current, and also build his own transformer to disperse the current. You can't, you can't, you do you have any idea? The revolutionary, the revolutionary innovation this can do for our country, the, 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 the cities, this can, the cities and the communities, this kind of power, if he get help, which he's getting help. So, Big ups to the Malawian government because it called the energy the Minister of Energy I, which you very rarely see. They actually he actually um helping out with this young man and also the district leader who she sent um if I read correctly, she sent him like materials to use to continue his work. And also what was funny is the electrical engineer because he don't know how the young man do it. He's one of saying it's it's not feasible and blah blah blah. But I don't blame the young man to not articulate or to don't tell him how he did it. Why would you want the young man to tell you how he did it for you to go and blab it to the world? No. This young man has to get a patent. He has to get papers signed saying he's an inventor, he's an innovator, and he, you cannot steal this, steal this innovation from him when it becomes more popular. So, love this thing. So, also, what I like about it is like 
his own neighbor didn't believe in him, which is normal. Because when I say things, certain things, people don't tend to believe unless they see it. Not because we are visual creatures, human beings. So when she saw that he powered his parents' home, then she wanted her home to be powered as well. So that's also a good thing because now he has evidence and proof that it actually works. And you see people in the community coming to charge their phones. The barbers working there and they're using clippers to cut hairs and stuff like that. He powered nine other homes according to the what I what I read. So I went and looked it up as well. But that was in 2018, so he's a little he's much older now because we're in 2024. So he's from 18 to now, he's like maybe 20, what, 24, kind of six years ago. But the fact that the Malawian Minister of Energy actually contacted him and they are sending engineers to go and work with him, it's a great move because it's best for the Malawian government to fully fund this young man. Send him back to school as well. Make sure he go to whichever level he want to go and incubate his, his, his invention, expound on it, and then give it to, don't sell it, give it to the communities that need it the most. And you can charge a fee, yes, but not as how they would charge like in the city because this young man did this innovation. He did not even try to sell his, his, his um, current to his neighbors. He gave it for free and he wanted to power the school. Uh, right here, I can see. That's a school where you see the kids on the road. He wanted to power that school to be, so they can have, you know, maybe who's known, maybe computers and um, lights and uh, better facilities to work. Uh, you know, the more comfortable a child is in school, the more they absorb education. So this is mind boggling to me. And it's the same thing when with Maxwell Tukumboso, when he invented the, the self-powered car, they didn't believe in it. Up to now, you have people still saying it's fake. Then you have, look at his name, the engineer from Kenya that turning plastic waste into, into diesel, not the, this to, into, into fuel, not into biofuel, which he actually um, consume, build that chamber to compress the, um, to hold, I don't, I have the video on my channel, I put a link in the video, when he take waste plastic, cut it up, put it in, in this contraption, turn it into fuel, and he was giving it away to, uh, he was selling to his surrounding area, fuel, at a cheap, biofuel at a cheaper rate. And they also have this young lady, I think, from Tanzania, who is transport, same thing, he's taking tires and turn it in, in, turning it into usable material to build homes like brick to you to build actual brick to use into not brick as in to build houses but like to for a playground and to, you know to do streets and stuff like that brilliant so we have a lot of innovation going on going on on the continent but it's not being highlighted and these things would help to alleviate some of the stress some of these people in the rural areas are feeling so i hope sincerely hope the government do actually get this thing to be to incubate it, make it grow, expand on it, make it better, and then send it out to their citizens. And I really, really hope they do not cut this young man out, um, Ernest Andrews. And I hope he have someone who can... He's, smart, he's a smart guy because the fact that he never want to tell the electrical engineer the way how he did it was a brilliant move. He made, made a say and doubt you all the one because that's how you... You become better when you have doubters. You have to you, you, you prove to them what you can do and what you can accomplish. So I don't think they can trick him as long as he kept his formula to himself until he sent back and said he has a patent. He's an inventor and he's an innovator, and the government gonna fund him to either go to school, continue schooling, or to go to whatever level he want to, and then you know become a or even a better in, an innovator as time goes on. So, love this. So, let me know what you think about this. Give, um, my, my fellow uh, subscribers, what do you think about this? This young man invented a new way to convert air into electricity. Can you imagine how many money you have? going to have like the oil company will lose because you need oil to run, to, gen to, to generate. To, to build to run factories to generate current. So if you don't if you can cut that down if I even 10%, that's billions of dollars are gonna be lost to the air company, which they, they won't like. So I hope they protect this young man as well. 
because this is not something they're going to take lightly. So the fact that the Malawian government is involved is a plus so far. So I'm going to keep keep you guys informed about this situation, this development, and then see what's happening to this young man as time passes. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And know what it is. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, comment, and subscribe. Boom.